Hello, in this video we're taking a look at the fear of driving through construction zones, especially when there are concrete barriers on either side of your vehicle. And some of you watching this now will be thinking, wow, I can't believe he's talking about this. I've never heard anyone else have this problem and I thought it was just me. Well, don't worry because it's not just you. My name's Paul and I work online with people all over the world to help them overcome their fear of driving. And this is without doubt in the top five most common things that I deal with. People say to me, look, I was driving the other day and I got to this construction zone and I've never had this problem before, but I just out of the blue had this sudden panic attack and my hands were sweating and I felt like I needed to pull over and the people behind me were really worrying me because they were getting so close and I thought I was going to crash and die. I have made another video which explains why driving anxiety suddenly comes on so I'll put a link to that on the screen now in the description of this video and I'll link it at the end of this video. And I've also got over a hundred other videos covering everything you need to know about driving anxiety. But what is this particular thing all about? Why have you got this problem of whenever you drive through what we call roadworks in the UK, when you've got traffic cones on the floor and there's some vehicles doing some maintenance work on the highway and it's known as construction zones abroad, Different countries have their own terms, but it's all the same thing. And it often results in you going into a narrower road than you were previously driving on. Where people go wrong with this is that they try and come up with a logical, conscious solution. So sometimes when people contact me, they sit there for 10, 20, 30 minutes and they're going, blah, 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 blah. I think it's this, nothing, it's this, nothing, it's this. Well, that was in the old days when I first started doing this. I no longer let people talk like that for that long because. I can tell you now that it's nothing to do with any of those things because as I've said in many of the videos when you know what the cause of your problem is it will go. It isn't quite that simple and yes I have done other videos on that as well which I'll link to as well but what you have to do is find out what's causing the problem but the thing is it won't be anything in your conscious mind it's in your subconscious or unconscious mind. And that's why I use things like hypnosis and NLP to help people overcome their problems. And if you're thinking, well, I don't believe in hypnosis and I don't think that stuff would work on me because I'm too logical and it just doesn't really work on me at all. Well, again, I've got a whole page on my website which will tell you why that's incorrect. And I don't even use the kind of hypnosis you're probably thinking of. This is not the kind where you lie down and relax, relax and the soft music playing. It's nothing like that at all. But you do need to access your unconscious subconscious mind to fix this problem. You see what's happened is at some point in your life something has happened to you, some kind of memory, some kind of event, something's happened and that can have got trapped and it just releases when you're driving. Exactly why that happens no one knows for sure but it's normally because when the road works the construction zones begin it reminds you of something it probably won't have anything to do with construction, but it could be the lights, the cones, the road getting narrower, it could be the car behind zooming up. Something triggers off a memory from your past, and you then relive that memory when you're going through these construction zones or when the concrete barriers are next to you. And because you've now experienced fear and panic in that situation, your mind links fear and panic to that situation every time you drive it in the future. So you're triggering off the problem each time you go through a construction zone. It can also be because of a build-up of stress throughout your life, what we call cumulative trauma. So the trauma builds and builds and builds. And then when you get a little bit stressed one day going through a construction zone, it's a bit like the lid blows off the pressure cooker and all the steam starts coming out and you start having a panic attack. And again, as I just mentioned before, that then gets linked to driving through a construction zone. So if you've got this problem and you want to get over it, the best thing to do is to contact me through my website, firstdrive.com. Many times I work with people who come to me and they say, you know what, I saw you online years ago talking about this driving anxiety, but I didn't believe you. And I went on your website, but I just didn't want to pay you to help me. So I went round and I did this YouTube video and then I went to see my doctor and then I went to do this free course in this community centre near my home. And I've done this and I've done this and I went to cheap therapists and I've just added it up and I've spent around 
thousand dollars on therapy and it's incredible how many people have spent tens of thousands of dollars i had one client who had been to a professional psychologist and spent over twenty thousand dollars on psychology sessions over the course of about 30 years he came to me and we fixed the problem in two sessions for a fraction of the cost of what he paid for a psychologist so please be aware that if you want to get rid of this problem you need an expert who specializes in this exact thing i'm not a jack of all trades this is what i do yes i've worked as a driving instructor for 20 years i've taught over a thousand people to drive I've trained hundreds of instructors, but I now work with people, helping them overcome their fear of driving, and that's what I do. I focus on that specific topic. I don't do other things. Yes, I could. If people ask me, I might consider it, but I don't advertise that. I don't go for that. I focus on the driving issues. Because I've worked with so many people with the same problem, I can hone in on exactly what's causing it straight away. Now I don't know what's causing it and I don't need to, it all comes from you, you do the work but I help guide you and because I've done this so many times and I've got so much experience now, I can quickly filter out when people start saying to me, is it because of nope, nope, it's not that, oh well I think years ago this happened, nope, nope, it's not that and I know what to filter out but when you start saying something and you say, well one day this happened and I think oh yeah, now that sounds like it's going to have caused it and I know what those things are. I may be the only person in the world who can do this because of my experience as a driving instructor and as a therapist and working with so many anxious drivers for years and years, over 20 years now. Maybe I'm the only person in the world who can do this. I don't know. But what I'm saying here is if you want to overcome this annoying fear of driving through construction zones and being scared every time the road gets narrow and you have concrete barriers next to you, all you've got to do to contact me through my website firstdrive.com check out these other videos on the screen now for more help overcoming your fear of driving including the videos i mentioned earlier thanks for watching and as always i'll see you again soon for more videos